Imagine a scenario you've likely seen. Teenagers at a sleepover stay up late, wait for the light under their parents' door to dim, and sneak to the bathroom. Amid giggles, one enters the bathroom alone, leaves the lights off, and facing the mirror repeats the words, Bloody Mary, three times. No matter how the others try to shout and startle them, nothing vicious ever crawls from the mirror. Nothing frightening ever appears from the darkness. Yet, somehow, Bloody Mary is a game adolescents have continued to play through generations, and each time there is a tinge of fear in the player's chest as they face their own reflection in the dark mirror. Part of the fun of adolescence is imagination. Young minds, especially in groups, have a striking ability to inject excitement into mundane circumstances. It is a key factor in the creation and sharing of urban legends. Most towns have their version of a hook man who stalks teens as they explore the woods, or back road haunted by the ghost of a tragically killed woman in white. In the stories we tell, there are specters in abandoned buildings and deranged individuals waiting behind the walls. How would it feel knowing these legends are not always the fiction we want them to be? Are we safe in our homes if danger can live right beside us without being seen? Are we safe in our communities if monsters really hunt children at night and live among us during the day? The six crimes documented in this volume share a common thread. Sometimes when we don't know what to fear, when the strange occurrences are written off as just imagination or made-up stories, we leave ourselves vulnerable to the horrors that can exist within our own walls. Sometimes the legends are rooted in cold, calculated human fault. You may find that you are not the only one who considers your house a home. The length of each story varies based on information available from reliable sources. Andre Rand, Staten Island's urban legends terrified children with stories of former mental patients haunting the grounds of the closed Willowbrook State School. When local children begin to go missing, police notice a chilling pattern. Otto Sandhuber and Dolly Ostrich, surrounded by the glamour of classic Hollywood, the wife of a wealthy business owner falls under suspicion when her husband is murdered in their home. Theodore Edward Coney's, an elderly man is found murdered in his home, leaving law enforcement and his loved ones bewildered over who could have wanted him dead. Danny LaPlante, as two suburban teenage girls mourn the loss of their mother, they reach out by supernatural means for some much-needed closure. The Hinterkaifeck Killer In one of Germany's most shocking unsolved crimes, a farm behind the Kaifeck village is owned by a complicated family with a dark past and darker future. Martha Ann Freeman Love and money is not enough for a thrill-seeking Tennessee woman. Unsatisfied with her husband, she hatches a plan to keep her beautiful home.